बेसिक्स ऑफ मेशरमेंट मेशरमेंट इज अ सिस्टमेटिक वे ऑफ नोइंग हाउ लॉन्ग वाइड एंड टॉल एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज इफ वी टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ फादर एंड अ चाइल्ड वी ऑब्जर्व दैट द फादर इज टॉलर दैन द डॉटर मेशरमेंट विल टेल अस द एग्जैक्ट हाइट ऑफ द फादर एंड द डॉटर and also tell us by how much the father is taller than the daughter at the end of this session you will be able to identify different parts of an object to measure identify the different units of measurement use a measuring tape when measuring any object be it a brick or door we need to understand its length width and height There are three different parts to measure in order to determine accuracy. Let's look at a brick for example. The length of an object is the longest side of an object. This is the longest side of the brick and is therefore called the length. The measurement from one side of an object to the other side is called the width. The height of an object is essentially how tall an object is. The height is measured from the base to the top of an object. Now that we know what parts to measure, it is important to determine how we will give meaning to the numbers. In this session, we will learn two different units of measurement: centimeters and inches. Centimeter is a unit of measure. The symbol for centimeter is cm. it is usually used to measure short distances when using a measuring tape we will always see a cm option using centimeter is a standard practice when building a toilet as you will measure objects using centimeters meter is a unit of measure it is used to measure long distances the symbol for meter is m 1 meter is equal to 100 cm inch is a unit of measure it is denoted by a double apostrophe when using a measuring tape we will always see an inch option feet is another unit of measure it is used to measure long distances the symbol for feet is ft and is denoted by a single apostrophe One foot is equal to twelve inches. The tool used to measure both centimeters and inches is called a measuring tape. A measuring tape has three parts. First, there is the housing of the tape. This part of the measuring tape keeps the tape coiled up. The second part is the metallic tape with length markings to take measurements. The unit of measure used in them is usually centimeters. Lastly, at the end of the tape there is a lip which is used to catch the edge of the object measured. The lip provides physical support when measuring. Using a measuring tape is very simple. Step 1. We pull the lip of the tape out towards us. Step 2. we place the tape against a straight edge or something flat for example a wall step 3 we use the numbers on the tape to measure as we can see here the length of the hollow block is approximately 40 cm or 16 inches with that we've come to the end of the session In this session we have learned to identify different parts of an object to measure identify the different units of measurement use a measuring tape